welcome back to my channel. It's Diana here, Lady Dice Crafty Creations. Wow, yeah, it's uh, been a while since I've been on here again. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had a great Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Wow, I can't believe today is, what, the 13th already? I, I mean, this is nice, actually, winter is kind of flying by, but we just don't want summer to fly by. <laughs> into January, almost the middle of January. Christmas over and done and we're into a new year. So I hope everybody is well and that you had a great Christmas and happy new year again to each and every one of you. So um, all I have today is just a quick um, project chair. Well, I've already shared it, but I just kind of redid it. And a card that I got in the mail, which has been sitting on my desk, I'm gonna say for about a week and a half from Bobby Joe who is Bobby Joe, who made uh, made this on on uh, YouTube here. And I got my Cricut Express 2 in, the 9 by 9 Yes, Callie? <laughs> and I love it. Well, I've only used it once, but so far, so good. <laughs> but you need to get your little mini press first before you even think of getting this. And then, because I don't know where I'm going to store this thing in my craft room now. It's like, you know what? <laughs> Got to make room for it. And then even where my plugins and stuff, I had to sort of swing things around a little bit just to use it for the first time. So, but anywho, um, let's get into the card first. Super cute Christmas card from Bobby Joe. Uh, loved this paper line. I don't think I ended up getting this paper. Um, and this, I believe, was what, last year? I know I have the pink pads, but this one I didn't get. And uh, I love this uh, washi on the back of... Uh, the card there that she put on the back of the envelope. Anyway, super cute little bowl, and then it says, Tis the season, and there's Santa Claus, and it says, Merry and Bright. Love it. And then inside, she just uh, has peace on earth, and have a very Merry Christmas. Enjoy your family. Take care, Bobby Joe. And then she just like a little bit of um, that paper. This is such a great idea because it just adds to the inside of the uh, the inside of the card, and just and that should be in camera tonight, and then you can see it. And anywho, a cute, super, super, super cute. So, Bobby Joe, thank you. A little late, I am. But uh, like that saying is, better late than never. I know I just sent out um, a, uh, um, sent out a, sent out the Christmas parcels to my mom and uh, to my daughter in BC. Now, that is really late for me. Normally, yes, I can be, you know, I squeak it in just be, you know, a day before Christmas or, you know, they get it Christmas Eve or whatever their parcels this year. I don't know, you know, where, like I said, the time just went, but they went out yesterday and, uh, yeah, so hopefully the end of this week, they'll be having Christmas. Um, so the next thing I just want to quickly show you is, um, in this, I made this book was going to be my December daily. And if you guys, I don't know, watch that video. And I had it on just rings and I had three rings. I hated it. I kept looking at it thinking, what am I going to do with it? I don't like it. I didn't like the way the pages were turning. So needless to say, I tore it apart, as you can see. So all I did was I um, took the front off. Of course, I had to use different paper in the backing. But, and just stuck it on 110 um, cardstock. I was going to um, laminate it, and then I thought, you know what, no. And I grabbed, I got so many of these rings. I love these things to make um, my, now, of course, I'm on camera. I'm going to go blank. You know the books? Planners? <laughs> and, yeah, so I got so many of these, and in the gold. And I thought, you know, this is perfect for this. So all I did was, yep, yeah, just took the one tent, tore the other one right apart, took, you know, the pom-poms, everything off the front. Um, yeah, so, of course, nothing got written in it. So we will have it for next year. But, yeah, so then again, I just um, cut down. What I did here is in the front here, just uh, stuck, uh, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And then I just cut down all the pages to... Um, to fit it, to fit in, because I had, because they were different holes, of course, right? So I had to cut those holes off and just cut it down, and, and it worked out perfect, you know? And same with this little thing here, same thing, except for I think there's a hole still in that one, but you know what? Yeah, there's still holes, but I mean, 
it's me that has to look at it, right? Yeah, and uh, same with that one, and then just the rest of the pages. This, same thing, just, hope oh, I'm all on camera here. Just cut it down, and then um, this one again, just cut it down to fit the rings. And then the one on the back, the envelope, yeah. And uh, I think I actually have a, a couple of things already in there to start for next year. But, and then I think I need to make a new one of this because see it's starting to come apart there. I don't know what happened because usually I should have ran it through the laminator twice. I think that's what it was. But yeah, nothing on the back here. And I love this paper line. I think this was a gingerbread. And then I just stuck um, this key, key this uh, charm on the side that I had made on there. I think what I'm going to do, though, is take one of those... Um, the grammar hooks is what they're called like the shape like a light bulb and then make a little hole here and then stick it in there and then hang this off yeah so that i just wanted to quickly show you that and then last night um i had a little bit of resin to play with and i just decided to sit down and make some hearts yeah and that it's funny because when you use the um the red um silicone um, yeah, <laughs> we're on camera. The silicone, you know, they pour the, the resin into mold. Jeez. Um, they come out matte looking. It's so funny. Yeah, it's weird. It, you know, of course it's shining on this side because that's not against, but yeah. But anyway, so I just did a few of those and I didn't make them really dimensional. Just kind of, you know, it was kind of hard. This one turned out a little fatter, but. And then, uh, yeah, I did those, and then I just did a, a Mickey Mouse. I tried using that um, Mickey, just a little bit of red in there, and I tried using that um, glass glitter, what's it called, diamond dust, the glass one, just sprinkled it in there just to see, and I think what happens, it just soaks right into the resin and just doesn't really do anything. I know it's kind of annoying because I think it would be really pretty if it would show up but yeah so that was just a little experiment there so that was that and now on to whoops on to knocking the camera knocking you guys around to the cricket <laughs> the cricket um easy press yes I couldn't stick the box of course can't stick the box uh on here I don't have enough room and I don't even know if I'm gonna have room to even show you the the cricket yeah we're just swinging around here aren't we anywho here it is is the baby <laughs> the nine by nine it is the cricket easy press number two it says cricket easy press two I got this on Amazon it was I don't know if it's because Michaels had theirs on sale then Amazon had to and I got this for hundred and forty one dollars Michael's, I do believe at that time was, I want to say 145 or 146 or something, and it was on sale. Normally, I think it's like 220 or something. I know I did save quite a bit, and I kind of debate on buying these kind of things like this of uh, pricey on Amazon because I'm thinking if it doesn't work, then you know I got to pack it all back up and send it off <coughs> back to them. Excuse me, but. Uh, I took my chances, and yes, it worked fine. It, um, yeah, I, I, I liked it. It worked great. Uh, came with this bag here that you, um, that you knock the camera. <laughs> my goodness. Um, this bag here that you can keep it in, and it came with this uh, decal to, to press onto. And of course, that's the cricket symbol, right? Yeah, super nice bag, too. Um, comes with a nice, huge, long, actually a pretty uh, long cord. And then the instructions are pretty pretty simple. It gives you the um, this little booklet, comes with this little booklet. Um, you get your uh, registration to register. I tried registering it on my computer, and it kept wanting to bring me to to download the Cricut, um, where you can, not the store, but where you go to, you know, to all your, 
why does my mind just go completely blank when we do get on this camera? It's crazy. Anyways, it kept bringing me to there, t telling me to download, and I'm like, I don't want to download that. I already have that on my computer. So I finally gave up, and I'm just going to have to go figure out how to register it. So, yeah. So if anything, for the warranty-wise, right? But, uh, yeah, it gives you um, your Cricut Easy Press 2, your guide, quick start guide. Tells you, you know, what to do, all your steps here. And then it uh, comes with this book. Uh, I don't know how quickly. I think it just kind of gives you ideas on, you know, your welcome, what you can do, and whatnot. Yeah. Well, and it does tell you also. Yeah, I guess it gives you instructions here, too. I just went with the other instructions. They were pretty simple. And, uh, and then I think this is safety instructions statement and your warranty. So, yeah, um, and then I ended up also ordering the um, mat, the Cricut Easy Press mat, and I do believe this is the 12 by 12, yes. So, here she is, and it's huge, so I don't know how much I'm going to get in there. Sorry about the glare, you get the glare there. But I stuck it back in the bag. Yeah, and this was... 20, I think 19.97 or something like that on Amazon. Yeah, so I think I really got a pretty good deal when I ordered it off there. And thank all I can say is thank goodness it worked. Yeah, so I can't wait to get on to doing some more bigger projects. I have um those bags that I picked up at Michael's over Christmas time. And I never got to making or, you know, putting anything on those and they're good size for like I was thinking beach bags for the girls so yeah I got those and then I got a couple of towels again that I can just play around with and uh yeah have some fun with it but and then I wanted to get some t-shirts and start maybe doing t-shirts for the kids and I don't know just start having fun like I said but anywho that is really all I have I am working on some valentine cards I will share they're not quite finished of course I will share those on my next video. But, uh, yeah, I hope everybody is doing well. And tell me how your weather is doing where you're at. Our weather, I for January in Ontario where I live, we were like at 1 degree minus 2. Like, I oh, touch wood. Come on, let's touch lots of wood here. It's crazy for January. January, we we're usually at least a couple of weeks of minus 25, minus 20. We're way down there. This year is just totally different. I don't know if that's going to really goof up our summer. I sure hope not because I need a nice hot summer this year. But, yeah, the weather has been uh, great. Anyways, yeah, that would be neat. Just comment down below and just kind of let me know how your weather is, where you're at. And Yeah, we've got snow out there, but uh, not like my backyard usually looks. I mean, yeah, there's a fair amount, but like I say, not like it, you know, the previous years. Anyways, I'll quit gabbing on here now, and I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and thanks for popping by and, and saying hello and watching my video, and hopefully I'll be back on here within the next week or two, and yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, wheezy. Why am I wheezing? I haven't been out anywhere. Anyways, you guys take care, and we'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks, bye!